In this video from Device Doctor, I am going to show you how to fix a maintenance error on the Epson Workforce Pro 7720 printer. The same problem also happens on the Epson Workforce Pro 77, 10, and 77, 15 models. If you're having trouble with your printer, you can fix it for free on your own. If you have any technical questions, or aren't sure which printer to buy, just ask us for expert advice and free support. When you turn on the printer, this error immediately appears on the screen. It shows that the printer cannot recognize the maintenance box. This error usually appears on these Epson printer models because many people use a chipless modification on them. When the printer is made chipless, it works normally, but if you connect it to the internet, the printer automatically updates its firmware. After the update, the chipless mode is removed and this maintenance box error appears on the screen. To fix this problem, the first step is to turn off the printer. Now that the printer is completely turned off, press and hold the 4 button, 7 button, status button, and power button at the same time. This will put the printer into recovery mode. Next, you need to install the downgraded firmware on the printer. We will put the download link for the firmware in the video description. Now, follow the firmware settings as shown in this video. Be very careful. Do not turn off the power while the firmware is installing, or the printer could be completely damaged. The firmware process is very simple. You just need to follow the steps shown in this video. Transferring the firmware to the printer takes about one minute. After the transfer is complete, press the finish button. Now, wait for the firmware to fully install on the printer. Do not turn off the printer under any circumstances. This process takes about 5 to 10 minutes, so be patient.
Drake, you'll never be going crazy. Now, the printer will enter blinking light mode. At this stage, you only need to press the zero button once to turn off the printer. Now, Press the zero button and wait for the printer to turn off completely. After it is fully off, turn the printer back on again. Now you can see that the maintenance box error no longer appears. The printer only shows cartridge errors, asking you to install the cartridges correctly. Since this printer is chipless, it does not have cartridges. At this point, you have two options. One, make the printer chipless again. Or two, install the required cartridges into the printer so that the cartridge errors do not appear anymore. Since we have the cartridges requested on the printer screen, we install them into the printer. Then, we check to make sure the printer is working properly. If the customer wants, we can also make the printer chipless afterward. Now, install the cartridges correctly into the print head unit. Now, press the cartridge buttons several times in a row. Now, place a sheet of paper in the scanner tray so the printer can recognize the cartridges. Now wait until the printer reaches the ready state. It is possible that the printer will go into a cleaning cycle and clean itself automatically. Drake, you'll never be going crazy.
As you can see, the printer is now fully ready and it has successfully accepted the cartridges. Now, we will print a nozzle test page to check if the colors are printing correctly or not. As you can see, the colors are printing perfectly and completely. If you have a problem with the colors, you just need to run the cleaning cycle several times, and your color problem will be solved.